last time we, um, not that I remember, uh, last time we were looking at, we found accurate positions of the sun and moon using JavaScript, uh, and, but we couldn't really do anything with that information because we didn't have uh, really useful functions like, uh, you know, where the sun is overhead right now, the subsolar point, uh, because we didn't have, for example, the Greenwich Mean uh, Standard Time. We did, as you remember, or whatever, uh, try to import those formulas from Mathematica using an importer that I'd written uh, because I've already written these functions in Mathematica, but that uh, didn't really work either. That kind of failed as well. So, uh, so two big failures yesterday, and I think we can uh, improve on that today. Um, so today we're going to actually try writing these functions ourselves. They're not that hard, and I think the only one we really need is the Greenwich Mean um, Sidereal Time. Uh, and I think from that you can get the subsolar point uh, to a pretty good accuracy. In fact, maybe to, to, to arbitrary accuracy. And I shouldn't say that uh, because the Earth is an ellipsoid, but pretty close. So what's, and then, in something that's going to make you think that maybe I actually know what I'm doing and I don't, we're going to try to take that information and put it on a map. It's going to look something like this, except it's going to be suckier. This is something I wrote a long time ago. It is server-side. Um, it's not that accurate, but it's actually not bad. Uh, it tells you where the sun is shining, where the, uh, where the moon is up, uh, the regions of civil, nautical, and astronomical twilight. Um, and you can't really notice it, but the, some of the circles, you know, some of the areas closer to the sun are wider than others. And I, and I did that, and it's, it, it has a really subtle effect. Uh, but I'm not an artist, so I, I don't really care about that. But it does do that. Okay, so what the problem is going to be, uh, we know how to create buffer maps. So we know how to color this part of the world light blue. We can even be clever enough, say, if we're very, very close to where the sun is overhead, within, um, I think it's half a minute of arc, although I'll double check that number. We can put, paint that yellow so we know where that is. Um, and we can even paint the rest of the world black or a twilight different color. And there's even a little part of the world where the sun is in the process of setting, which this map doesn't show, but we could certainly show that as well. Um, however, the problem is we don't know how to draw these lines. It, in this program, it's done using Google Circles. Uh, I could try that. I'm going to try that with OSM, but I'm pretty sure that uh, OSM circles are going to look like, uh, you know, uh, more like these kind of circles. I don't think OSM circles will adjust for the fact that the Earth, uh, that this map is not really uh, an accurate representation of the Earth. It's a Mercator map, so so uh, these are actually circles, by the way. If you were to map these strange-looking lines, all of them, well, these are pretty obviously circles here. But if you were to map any of these, on it, they are circles on you know, if you were to look on an orthographic map, or another sort of map that uh, preserved uh, distance and angle. But I, as I say that, I have to remind you that uh, the Riemann mapping theorem tells us we cannot ever have a perfectly accurate, uh, even in terms of distance and angle map of the Earth that is flat. It's, not, it's never going to be 100% realistic. So, so these are circles, and I don't know if uh, that's how OSM is going to draw them. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's, let's find out. And I, I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way, as always. So if you, are, uh, if you have any sort of uh, questions or corrections, or you just want to rant, well, actually, I don't want trolls in the stream. But if you just want to rant, that's fine, uh, within reason. So let's go ahead and get started then. Okay. So these are the functions I wrote, um, and I try to convert from Mathematica into uh, JavaScript. They don't break the actual. Um, they don't break the actual JavaScript. So I'm going to leave them in. I'm going to leave them loaded, but they don't actually work. Also, they don't include the one function we need, which is Greenwich Mean Standard Time. So really, pretty pretty useless yesterday, and uh, you know we can only sort of hope that we'll be that useless today. Now, you might have remembered earlier that I actually fixed up the namespace of uh, things like Gudermannian, and I didn't alter the math object. The problem is, um, here I am uploading the version I have in my machine, which is different from the version on uh, another REPL, which is different from the version on another REPL. At some point, I need to sort of combine all these versions uh, and, you know, come up with a sort of a final thing and then push that to Git. So we... Um, so I have a, a, a proper copy of it. Um, that will not be happening today, and it's pretty boring. Um, so I might not do it in front of you, or I might, but you know. It, it's going to be more important than... Nah, never ever answer 
calls that look like they don't have the number formatted correctly. Uh, or just never answer calls. That's how you can be uh, totally hermetic. Hermetic? No, that's not right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and write the function ourselves. This is not a difficult function to write. I'm trying to be a little bit clever. And um, one of the problems here, and I, and I, and I, I was going to say I don't want to really fix it, but I do want to really fix it. Um, BCLib, in theory, should be a fairly general library. Um, so you could sort of see like spherical to XYZ and XYZ to spherical. Um, wow. One second. I have pop-ups on my, on my body, that's, which is pretty creepy. Um, all right. Uh, so some of these things, like this last disk to long range, that doesn't really belong in a general library at all. It belongs in a uh, geography, uh, geography library, geography, geography library. And again, create uh, fake slippy tile. That's very specific to uh, uh, OpenStreetMap or Google Maps. I mean, that's the slippy concept of slippy tile doesn't exist out of that. Uh, long lat to dist, all of this, a lot of this stuff um, doesn't really belong in a general library. I've put it there because I'm using it, but at some point I will or will not. Um, split it up into multiple libraries. Today, however, I am not going to be quite as stupid. I'm actually going to create a new file called bcastro.js. I mean, to have it, just to have it. So the first thing we need to do, and I think the only function we need here, um, this is actually pretty good. We have like lunar and solar, uh, why are they in separate files? But we have these in separate files, which is good, because they really should be. Um, so the first thing we need is the formula for um, sidereal time, which I have in a billion places. But I'm going to see if I can get it from the dope. And the reason that doesn't work is because, in theory, gas.php could have been uh, a website. But it really is. It really should be the page that, at one point, had the formula for sidereal time. Screw it. I'll just say sidereal time site. The government, um, our government at least, uh, moves stuff around all the time, which is confusing. And a lot of the time, they don't. They make it very hard to find information. Now, I personally don't think this is a conspiracy. Um, I just think they're, you know, they're government employees. They suck balls. And they don't even do that because that would be a, that would actually be a useful thing to do. Okay, so I'm gonna try to find the formula that I know is like six point something. It's pr precise to like nine digits or something, and and of course this page will not have it. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Oh, I think yeah, I think I mentioned yesterday how to cheat, but on this, um, uh, let's see, it's this formula. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, if you go for this, already knowing the answer, you will find, um, you know, this is almost not worth it, because I already know the formula. Yeah, they've broken it again, uh, but this is the formula. Um, this is not a great, uh, you know, stack exchange is not definitive, but I happen to know. And let's see, D is the... Da -da 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 Okay, I don't even know I looked at that. So let's go to BC Astro. Where'd it go? Oh yeah, alphabetical. How cool. And we do need to remember that, uh, you know, stuff. We do need to remember that the, oh come on, this is a JS library you're supposed to, oh I'm supposed to be doing, sorry, I meant to do that. Documentation. Now, one of the cool things we could do, um, if JavaScript had real objects, well, it does, but it doesn't. How's that for, <laughs> for being? Um, is we could um, have an object that holds time in various different formats, which the data object actually does. Uh, and then when someone tried to assign, let's say, a sidere, you know, someone tried to assign, like, the Julian date, it would automatically update its fields for um, Boy, I like saying words. Um, for like uh, modified Julian date, Unix time, 
all this other stuff. So if you modified one of the parameters, one of the ways it gives time, it would change it for all the ways that it gives time. That's not a perfect analogy because things like sidereal time repeat. Um, but that might be something to look into, uh, which I'm pretty sure you could do with JavaScript, but I'm not going to because we don't really need it and it's kind of fluff. Okay, converts Unix time to Greenwich mean sidereal time in radians. So let's be a little bit more specific here. Okay, input object T, the Unix time to convert, return object. GMST, the uh, Greenwich, the GMST in radians. Not very exciting, by the way, but you know. Function Unix 2. How bad do I want to abbreviate this? Oh, GMST actually has an abbreviation. And as always, my functions take objects. Possibly a bad idea, by the way. Okay, now this formula is um, obviously be the primary thing we do. Um, but it has two minor problems, which I'm going to discuss here in just a sec. Uh, one problem is it's written in hours, so the result is in hours, we want it in radians, not a problem. Second is uh, the, uh, the, uh, the D that it has here is uh, actually in days, um, and I think it's in days since the year 2000. Uh, so we need to do a subtraction and an adjustment to it, a uh, subtraction and a division to it. And I think, ah uh, yes, here it is. If you do this to a Unix time, it, you convert it to uh, a modified Julian date. The modified Julian date is what this thing takes. So we take uh, t minus this, min uh, and that's going to be object t, of course. Um, and that is going to be... Wouldn't it be nice and actually create a temporary variable? There's no need to do that, by the way. No need to do that. Um, and then I'm going to create another temporary variable because I'm, I'm now really hyped about it. Sidereal hours, which is going to be this times the D we just computed. Okay. What we actually want to return is an object with GMST, and the GMST is going to be not SH because we need to convert it uh, over 12 times MathPy. That's the conversion from. Okay, that's a pretty easy looking formula there. So I think we had a test bin somewhere, or we were we were actually probably, and let's make sure we include this library. We must include, we must be all inclusive here in Germany. That's probably offensive to a lot of people. So if you heard that in your German, or if you're offended and not German, pretend I didn't say it. Okay, so now yeah, I'm gonna be get a little bit better about our testing, I think. All right, actually, we script DS is fine for testing. Okay, so I had a GMST function here, which we which we have converted to object format. So let me go ahead and download this as a zip, as I like to do every so often, just to just to have it. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get over to this GMST because we have converted it. Be gone. Okay, so we still need the date divided by a thousand to get Unix time. And now we're going to uh, get the declination, right ascension, of the sun. And we're going to get the Greenwich Mean Time. And again, because of the way I'm doing this, this has to be like this. And then I think I can just... Uh, this is really too super clever. Um, let's see if that works. And there are always to check what the current GMST is, uh, so we, we can check our results, which is nice. Oh yeah, one other thing we should probably have. Uh, this is a technically a possibly a correct answer, um, because, you know, I mean, it needs to be reduced between 0 and 2 pi, but technically it is, it is um, it, I mean, you know, angles repeat after 360 degrees or 2 pi. So you could argue that's a technically correct answer. Now just to mess things up a little bit, I'm not going to do the mod on the radians. I'm going to do the mod on the um, on the sidereal hour. 
Uh, there are 24... Oh, am I going to regret saying this? Yeah, the sidereal clock repeats every 24 sidereal hours, which is 23 hours and 56 minutes clock time. So this, this should do it. We should now have the GMST in... Wow, Greenwich Mean Time is almost... Uh, this is almost 2 pi here, so that's pretty late, but, you know... Now, of course, we want to keep using it as this, but we want to... For right now, we want to get it in hours, minutes, and seconds, so we're going to undo the thing we just did. And it does make sense because, you know, for testing purposes, we'd like it in hours. But when we're using it in the program and we're taking cosines and sines of it and stuff, we do want it in radians. So the radians is the correct format. Um, so what we do to this is we divide it by pi, and we multiply it by 12. And that should give us the sidereal time in hours, and it should be... It's almost zero hours sidereal time. All right, well. Current GMST, hit me with it. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. And we are correct. It is, uh, by the way, GAST is something that's <sighs> just weird. Pretend I'm not, it's, I'm not even going to talk about it because I don't know what it is. But it does come up somewhere. Okay, so this looks like 234350. Uh, if we wanted to, we could we could test uh, to see whether this number is uh, 23. Uh, see, I say that, and I was not going to do it. And now I feel like I have to do it. I'm just a slave, man. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, I'm going to just check the minute. And of course, calc, unlike my little alias calc, 43.48, and if that's even close, I'm happy. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. Okay, solid. So we now can compute the Greenwich mean sidereal time. So now can we use that to compute the subsolar point? The answer is yes, because that's why the whole point in, com in computing it. So the subsolar point uh, is going to be um, the sun's right ascension minus its minus GMST in a way. Let's see. I forget which direction this goes in. Um, it's a very simple. Basically, we want to know the sun's distance from Greenwich. We know the Greenwich mean sidereal time. We know where the sun is overhead is where the local sidereal time is equal to the sun's right ascension. We want the difference of that, but the only tiny little problem is um, I forget which direction we need that in. It's, it's a little bit, it's not complicated. I'm just stupid. Um, and it's also something that uh, comes up here a lot. Uh, approximately, uh, you're going to see in a lot of formulas this sort of uh, GMST minus RA or, ah, uh, here it is, GMST plus non. Minus RA. Uh, so is that what I think it should be? Is it uh, GMST plus longitude minus RA? Okay, but except in our case, we're looking for uh, we're looking for long. So GMST minus RA would be negative. Ah, uh, screw it. We're just going to do it. It's going to be one of two things. So let's just. Um, And again, we're in radians here, so we might as well convert from radians. Um, over math pi times 180, because we want it, we want a, a longitude out of this. We'll call this the subsolar longitude. Okay, and it's going to be either wrong or right, so or it's going to screw up. Why did that happen? Well, we have GMST looking fine. We have RA looking fine. Mm, I'm unhappy. Did I screw up math pi? Okay, well, let's just look at it in radians. You know, one step at a time debugging. Okay. Well, did I F up the... Uh, wow, this is going to be bad if it turns out that the RA is the thing that it's messed up. That's going to be... No! I did it again. Wow. Yeah, I keep forgetting these things return objects. I'm going to actually go ahead and be... Just take the one thing that it returns 
and, and fieldify it. Uh, that is Word. Now this should all be kosher. SSLong is GMST minus RA and yeah, that would be a, probably a good thing to mod to pi. Um, yeah, the Greenwich Mean Standard Time should now actually be between... Oh yeah, the RA is no longer between 0 and 2 pi. I am awesome. Um, uh, the RA function, I think, let's, let's, we might be able to actually fix that one. Um, oh no, we actually talked about this before. The interp xy function, yeah, let's, because it's not going to be really helpful to anyone, I'm going to go ahead and go to its definition and make some changes to it. Um, and we decided that in addition to the value to at which to evaluate, there's a couple of things we wanted to do with this, and I don't remember both of them. But one of them was definitely that uh, if the mod field is set, we want to mod it out by that number. Um, and I'm not, Im see, I'm not really convinced that belongs here. We could always mod it after we get the result. Um, so, if I remember the other thing we wanted to do to it, um, let's see, we wanted to mod out the result. Uh, oh, and we possibly wanted to convert between the unit that's being used in the interpolation and a different unit uh, that is being used. In other words, we might want to, in, in addition to modding the uh, the uh, result, we might also want it to multiply the result by something. But I've decided to waste more of your time. We're still in the same file. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. We, we'll just go ahead and manually convert uh, because, again, we're just really testing and write ascension. Okay. But we are going to go ahead and do it right over here. So let's and okay. So according to this, the um, longitude 4.1159 is the uh, sub solar point. No, it's not because um, because now my units don't match. Screw it. We're going to keep our <laughs> we're going to keep right ascension. We've already done in that, and we're going to do GMST minus RA, we're going to mod that by 2 pi, we could mod the individuals to the same, same result. Um, and now we should have the result in radians. By the way, <laughs> this is a remarkable coincidence, it's not really, the subsolar point is going to be really close to where I am right now, because it's close to noon where I am. Um, and at some point I was going to put up a little clock so you guys could see what time it is. Uh, just so you know where we are in the broadcast. Um, okay. Minus, that is very close to, um, actually I have no idea if it's close to where I am or not. Okay, so SS long, GMST minus, okay, so this converts, this goes between 0 and 2 pi radians, and now we want to just multiply that by, we want to divide that by, that looks really strange, but mod has higher precedence, so I think this actually doesn't just divide 2 math pi by math pi, which would be 2. Okay. Drum roll, please. Minus 168. That seems too far to the west. And plus 168 would be too far to the east. So let's see what I did wrong here. GMST, solar right ascension, mod out by, yeah, you know what. And actually, I think I really screwed that up because the, I do need to put parentheses around the right side. Um, divided by math pi. Uh, so this is in. Yeah, that should be okay. By the way, if you're wondering, we're just going to keep doing this until we get an answer we like. Uh, so that's that's how you're supposed to do these things. Okay, the SS longitude somehow came in at negative 320, which should not be possible. Um, all right, I think we're screwed up enough that I'm going to actually log 
of the sun's current rate ascension. I'm going to call it SRA. At some point, I'm going to use an abbreviation that's really offensive. Uh, if I do, you know, just pretend it's on purpose, but it'll probably just be because I, I'm just trying to be succinct. Okay, so that's I'm just mumbling, by the way. Okay, so we want the uh, the uh, RA that is in radians, and divide that by. Oh, wait a minute. So <laughs> we need to mod it by. Um, that's the first thing we need to do. Then we need to take the result of that and convert it. One sec. We need to take the result of that and convert it from radians to hours. Okay, and I'm going to use my parentheses this time. And once we've done that, we're going to... So now we've got uh, radians, and we can divide by math pi and multiply by 12. And finish off our parentheses here. I don't... There's something wrong with the way I did these parentheses. So I don't think it's going to work. 15.65 hours. Uh, Greenwich Mean Sidereal Time is 23.8 hours. So the sun is... Um, the sun will culminate at, if this number is right, the sun will culminate uh, at Greenwich in about eight hours, eight sidereal hours, roughly speaking. So right now it's going to be overhead. Oh, there's something really weird about this calculation I don't like. So the Greenwich mean sidereal time is that. The sun's right ascension, that seems really, really low for the sun's right ascension. So I am going to be unhappy. Uh, let's see. 12 hours is pi. Uh, boy, either this approximation's way off, or <sighs> I fucked something up again. All right, now we're going to find out the sun's real array very cleverly by using Stellarium. I think there's a way to go to like right now. Um, oh yeah, there is actually. It's this uh, little thing now, and then find where the sun. Oh, it, there it is. It's right there. Uh, the sun's right ascension right now is 1642.14. Um, uh, and that is right now. And we're getting... Um, 15.65, so that's way off. And the parallax of the Earth is not enough to justify that error. Um... So the only thing I'm thinking is, well, the main thing I'm thinking is I screwed this up so badly that, uh, wait, what the hell was I doing? Oh yeah, in REPL. I'm in lots of places. The only thing I can think of, by the way, is that I've, uh, the, you know, screwed up either the interpretation, which is the most likely thing that I've screwed up, um, or, well, let's see, it's not the interpolation that's been screwed up. Then it has to, well the formula is, we know GMST is correct. Um, and so, and we checked GMST is correct. So the sun's right ascension is way off, and the question is, um, uh, yep, and T is set to right now. So we're, we're having some issues. All right, let's make sure the T is correct, although if it's not, I will be insanely shocked. Um, and let's see if it is that time by going over to our Emacs shell, and we're so smart. Uh, date minus D, time. It is, yep, right now. Well, of course it's right now. And it is, yeah, that's 14 seconds from that time. So we're, we're fine on that one. Solar interpretation. Now I'm 99% sure that it's supposed to result, 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 ba ba ba, return the result in radians. Um, so I'm not actually going to check that. Okay, so we're going to build this up a little bit. We're going to start off by just doing it in pure radians. Um, 
And then we're going to... We're going to do something with it. We're going to divide it by 2 pi and find the fractional part, which is what modding by 2 pi means. Um, yeah, and the problem is I'm not really... Let's go ahead and see if we can test that with the, with the shell here. That's going to be calc of... Ooh, your mama. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, I meant to do a yank, but I did a... Uh, did a control V, which actually doesn't clear the screen, but it moves me to the bottom of the, uh, the thingy. Uh, now the problem here is we have to be really, really exact because um, we're modding a very large number by 2 pi, and we're looking at the remainder, which is just like freaking ugly. Not shiny. I don't think it has 2 times pi built in. Does not. So I'm going to go even creepier over to Mathematica here. I should probably have cleared out all these calculations, but anyway. Oh, no, no, your mama! Move the whole V-Box thing. Cool. Alright, uh, let's see if we can scroll down without doing terrible things here. Appears that we can. Okay, and I think plus doesn't do what I think it does. Freeform input. Oh, cool! It does give me a little cursor. So we're going to take that number, and I'm I am confident that Mathematica's. Um, we don't need this. We do need to again. This is a little bit different from what I'm used to, and it's telling me this is going to be point three two. I love scrolling on this thing. It's just so difficult. All right, and that's going to be point three two, and. Um, Again, that is, of course, in radians. 0.32 radians is going to be... I'm trying to figure out in my head how much 0.23 radians is going to be, which is a bad idea. Um, or actually, because this is Mathematica, if it's in radians, it can divide by the word degree to get degrees, not still hours. Still degrees. And it's working. Shiny. Still working. It's not that difficult. Oh. Did I give this as Wolfram Alpha input? I think I did. That's, that was a mistake. Let me try that one more time. Shift Enter. Unfortunately, I think I, I somehow hit the uh, do this in Wolfram Alpha thing, which is very different from from Like a vault. All right, hang on. I had it correct though at one point. Okay, so this we're going to do, and everyone hit shift return, and it is going to give us 18.68 degrees. Ah, uh, yeah. That's. 18 degrees is going to turn out to be... Oh, actually, hang on. 18 degrees... Divide by, it's going to be like 1 point something. Um, and that's not the sun's actual right ascension right now. So... I'm unhappy. Uh, okay, so either the interpolation's wrong, or we're having... Well, this sh really should not... And if you want, I can take the degrees and... Uh, each degree is a fifteenth of an hour. No, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, each degree is a fifteenth of an hour. So 18 degrees is going to equal like one point something hours. I'll do it, but it's not going to be accurate. Uh, the one problem here we're having, of course, is we're getting a different result here than we are here. Um, so let's, let's just see what happens if we now mod this by 2 pi. And I think I actually know what's, what's going on here. Uh, partly, I know what's going on here. Okay, if we do that, 4.70, and over here we got... Boy, I wish I had kept previous results. 0 0.324, and the problem might be that uh, when you're modding a number this big by a number this small, uh, you're going to get inaccuracies that are big enough to really screw things up. Um, in other words, we might run it. So let's do this. 
Uh, and this should give us an exact answer. Oh, yeah, maybe I should close that. Rationalize zero basically converts this into an exact number by good. And now I'm going to look at the what that is in. Okay, three, two, four, two. Okay. So that looks like it should be the correct answer. Mm. And this suggests here, this 11 million suggests that we could um, we could just subtract our result by 11 million 393 copies of pi. I, I don't know if this going to be any more accurate, but if it gives us a different answer, um, it means we, our problem is due to like uh, due to like uh, let's go get that number shiny. Um, it means our problem is due to uh, inexact uh, numbers, not due to uh, bad interpolation. So let's just do that times math pi. Let's see what that looks like. Um, call this sub me. Okay, so the thing we want to subtract is minus this, 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 this. And let's go ahead and get the solar radiation in. Right, without the without the uh, without the uh, the modding out. So this is, um, yeah. So it looks like subtracting these two numbers will give us the result in radians. Same should give us the same result as mod two pi, but let's see what actually happens. Oh, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. All right, hang on. Um, this might just be a floating point issue, but it might be more serious because even Mathematica is not getting what I hope to be is the right answer. All right, let's quickly do this again. So SRA is this, sub me is this. If we subtract the two, it looks like, whoa, 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 whoa. One, two, three. No, that's going to be like a hundred. All right, Mathematica, what did you do wrong? You said take this number and subtract by eleven three nine three six three six. And that should give us point three two. So now I'm actually even kind of more concerned. Th this if this is a problem, it's gonna be a pretty big one actually. I want well it's Wolfland. It's gonna be that. Um so now, let's take this number, subtract as floating point numbers, and see what that gives us. Well, you're pretty smug, Mr. Mathematic, aren't you? Did I miss something over here on the replet? I did time times it by pi, right? Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, one thing of course is the solar right ascension is changing as we do this, but the change is very, very small. And it's not going to be big enough to, to mess with what we're doing. Okay, well... Let's... Just to, just to sort of uh, have a fixed right ascension, let's go ahead and fix it at that value we had earlier. Um, uh, even though it shouldn't matter. It should not matter. Alright, 900 billionth time for the win. Okay, let's see how far apart these numbers are. 941... Oh! Okay, now I'm always suspicious though because the... F the real R is advancing way too fast compared to the fake RA. So now, uh, because we really we've only been at this a few minutes, let's see what the hell's going on here. Um, oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Our results are in, someone, if someone's in chat, please just say it. 
And that's the reason we need that frickin' divide by a million. Our results are in uh, n in micro radians, so we should uh, we should cry like babies. And actually, we need to do for declination too. So that's why I was thinking we needed to modify. That was the other big change we. Oh, and I think I said that if we need to make um, an other big change, I would go ahead and just make it in the function itself. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not a man of my word, but uh, you know sometimes you get lucky. All right. So over here we have input object interp x mod if given. We we don't editor. Okay, that's just a flaw of replit there showing itself up. Uh, if given mod result by this value. I'm going to be a little bit careful here because the order is going to matter. Um, div if given divide re result by this value before modding because we are going to have to do it in that order. And here after modding. After dividing. Sorry. So we're, we're, this is very, of course, very ugly because we only need this in like a few zillionths of a case. Um, divide. Yeah, we do need to divide and then mod. In another case, we might need to mod and then divide. Uh, but of course, the thing we would mod by would be different then. So anyway. All right. So over here, if object div is defined, sum equal self divided by actually divide equal by object div. Another way to do this would be to set the de default div to be like one, uh, which we could do, uh, and then not have to check whether it exists. But you know, six dozen of one half of the other, or something like that. Um, if obj mod sum, I don't know if this actually will work. Actually, it should. I mean, it's, it's correct. All right. Let's see. I haven't broken anything terribly. Have not. Oh, I keep forgetting we're in the same file that we're uh, we're testing in. Okay. So now, when we say we want the declination, let's give ourselves a little bit more room here. Uh, we want the declination. We want it divided by ten to the sixth. Um, in theory, we could mod it out by 2 pi, but it's not going to matter because our res results are always going to be between uh, 0 and 2 pi or whatever. And I'm going to regret saying that whatever in just a minute. So here we do need to div by 10 to the, we need to divide by the results by a million, and then mod by 2 times math dot pi. And then of that, <laughs> then of that, take, um, hopefully that's going to solve all of our problems. Um, all right, let's see if I didn't break it. I didn't break it. Wow. Greenwich mean sidereal time. Uh, by the way, we've passed zero hours Greenwich mean sidereal time. So if you are a member of a hour, we have we? Hang on. I don't believe that now. Yes, we have. Wow, we've been working a while. So if you are a person who celebrates a zero hour Greenwich mean time, you're insane. Um, okay, so GMST looks good. Right ascension. That actually might be correct because th that's in radians right now. And we're going to now, uh, for testing, divide it by math times pi and multiply it by 12 because we want it in hours. 16.72, which actually sounds pretty reasonable. Let's take a look here. Yeah. And actually, time has moved on, so we can do this. But yeah, that's I'm happy with that. Um, just a weird idea if it could OBS from here. Um, I don't know if there would be any point in it, but that's not something that's important. It's just something I save when I'm trying to confuse you. Okay, so now we should be down to where we can SS long is correct. And SS long is minus 247 degrees. Um, I don't think that's correct, but... Um, the math pi is over 180, we mod it by 2 divided, uh, but I mean that's just, we need to add 3, we need to mod this by 360. 
uh, but I'm going to cheat and just add 360 to it because that we don't have latitudes that are that negative. All right, so here it is. If this is correct, the sun is, yep, and I've got the sign wrong because that would be 112 plus, but we're really closer to minus 112 uh, degrees. So I, and I knew I would, if there's two choices, I'll always take the wrong one if there's more than two, or I'll create a new one that's worse than either. So it is RA minus GMST. That is the, the subsolar point. Okay. Um, yes, and if I'm going to do it backwards, I probably shouldn't add 360 to it, although that result is still correct. We will want the more reasonable... I hate my life. Now we need to subtract 360. Of course, in reality, we would... Um, we would mod by 360 and probably subtract 180 because that's how we measure latitudes, um, longitudes and latitudes. But okay, so that is a very reasonable answer. The sun is overhead at negative 112.51. And for the declination, it's just the declination uh, now that we've computed it correctly. Okay, uh, let's, so let's print that out for fun, shall we? Oh, here it is, declination. Uh, and here we've already converted it both ways. So this is going to be something very close to mine. We're approaching the, the, the uh, winter equinox. Yep, good deal. So the subsolar point is minus 112, blah, 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 longitude, minus 22, blah, 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 latitude. So now all we need to do is put that on a map. Um, and now we have the super fun thing of of uh, let's see. We need a color function, which is going to be, depending on how close you are to the subsolar point, is going to be yellow if you're under, you know, if you're in a place where part of the sun is overhead. It's going to be blue, light blue, if you're within, it, you would think it's 90 degrees, but it turns out that because um, of refraction at the horizon, it's going to be 90 plus th degrees plus 34 minutes of arc. Then red if you're in the portion where the sun is actually setting right now. And then um, we can probably do like three different layers of gray for civil, astronomical, civil, nautical, and astronomical twilight. And then add a true black if you're not in any of those. And of course we could do this for the moon as well. Um, and we probably won't do it for the moon as well right now. Okay. So we've been waiting for 45 minutes. I think we can put a little bit more into this. Uh, I think we do have enough time to... Uh, Blah. Uh, whoa. Okay, sorry. Looking at something else. Okay, so now we need to sort of integrate our other OSM project into this, but we need to be careful because uh, y there's no sort of default way of connecting uh, projects with each other. I'm going to have to do some cut and pasting. Uh, and we're going to go really simple on this. We're going to create a very simple open street map. We're not going to create additional maps like, uh, you know, we're not going to create a climate map, a land use map, all the other stuff we could create, no, no, no other tiled maps, uh, and then we're just going to slap uh, this sun map that we're going to create on top of it. Fun, fun. So let's go over here to another copy. I'm going to keep this up because I like it. Let's go over here to Replit, find the uh, thing we did before. And you know, I love the way it just uh, introduces, it just talks to me like that in Twitch Interpolation, Twitch Playground, Twitch Data Server, and this is actually by time of creation instead of time of last modification. Not helpful, guys. Twitch OSM leaflet. Uh, and I'm not going to touch this one. Well, I might. I shouldn't. OK, let's see what this used to do. I'm, I'm excited. Cool, this was doing my Vernoy diagram. This was showing me where d what parts of the Earth were closer to five given locations, which, um, which is kind of cool. OK, so what do I need from this? Well, let's see. We definitely need to. Uh, uh, we definitely need to get leaflet in here. I might regret this. Um, and all of these were in lib, but that's I can deal with that. I need leaflet CS and leaflet JS in here. Uh, and I could. D there's two ways to do this, which is one is to just upload them, uh, which I think I should do here. Um, yeah, let me just upload them real quick. If I can find. Oh yeah, I have a shell here. Um, you can tell when I'm 
annoyed because I used the find command. Um, actually, I think the space is small enough I can copy it from. Usually, I copy things to temp before uploading because it's easier. In this case, I'm going to regret saying this. First, let's download this. I'm going to regret saying this, but I think it's going to be easier just to uh, just to find it in maps. Yeah, and the problem is these directories are so huge, uh, it's going to take forever to find it. Actually, well, let's, we can do this, maps return, which would give us a whole, come on! North, <laughs> how wonderful! That's not what I meant to do at all. Oh, here we are. Maps. How badly have I effed this up? Oh shit, that's the whole frickin' VM. Okay. How badly have I... It's in BC Git Maps. Ooh. See, that doesn't look that hard. Unless for some reason we went to a different Maps. Okay, maybe I did. Leaflet JS. This may or may not work. I don't. I've never actually tried to upload more than one thing at once. Hey, hey, hey it worked. Awesome. Okay. And we do need to require it, obviously. And we need to also require the uh, the styling, the leaflet.css. So over here and this is fairly obvious where do we actually put it in the style sheet there it is I don't even know if it has to be after all the script sourcing um, I'm losing my freaking mind but you know since we actually have it uh, right here we might as well leave it where it was and over here we do need to script source equals leaflet or lefalet to JS. All right. So that will give us leaflet, and let's just make sure we haven't broken anything. We have not. Good. All our magic is happening in script JS right now, which we're probably going to not, which is not how we did it in uh, in uh, Twitch OSM leaflet. So it's going to we're going to have a little bit of a thing going on here, and I think we actually have a. Um, a map div here, don't we? No, we don't. Okay. Oh, here we. Yeah, we do. We have a div ID, and then we have a. Um, let's copy this part. I don't think we don't. Oh, actually, we do want a tile layer. Um, we do want the OpenStreetMaps default tile layer. But we don't want any other tile layers, but we do want the one that uh, that gives us. Uh, so blah 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 script. Uh, I'll add map. If this works, I will be very surprised. Um, let me break it out into a new little thing. Well, I like myself so far right that my little there. Um, Now, I can't see a map here, but I'm now wondering if, uh, is there like one little magical step I've forgotten to do to actually start the, uh, the leaflet console? So that should work. And what happened to my little, you know, um, I think I made this too thin. Here's my little open and a new thing. I see no maps. Um, all right, and I see no errors either, which is, you know, kind of surprising. I do see them print out, but that's just stuff we wanted. Okay, so let's just see what else we're doing here that works. Okay, so we've added to the map, blah, 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 blah. And here we're just creating new maps, which is fine. Color array, color stuff. Update view. We will need that because we are going to be drawing a map of our own. 
Um, so let's, let's go ahead and take that. And let's do it after we do this uh, adding TL to the map, which which is kind of ugly. Okay, so we will be needing that function. Okie dokie. We're not going to need the map. We're not going to be using an array here. We're just going to sort of do it. Um, we're going to. There's only two maps, so we're going to update them sort of one at a time. Okay. Overlays equals, and that we're going to need, that's going to be our, um, place computer tiles on, you know that? Oh, right, the way we did this here is we had maps buffer actually sort of include all the stuff you want to send to the, uh, to the, uh, compute tiles function, which itself will call another function. For right now, I'm going to ignore that. Okay, so the question is why is, this still works. The question is, why does we not, why does we not uh, get a um, map on the other thing? Let me see if there's anything else we, we kind of missed here. We got the style sheet. We got the uh, script sources and uh, BC lib, BC lib staging, BC maps. Okay, now maybe BC maps I do need. Um, in fact, I will need it because I've got to do this. So why don't we go ahead and... The problem here is I don't think I've got a BC maps in my GitHub. That's how far behind we are. So, and I hope I don't have the BC maps here that's incompatible with this one. I do not. So, new file, BC maps. Oh, and that's part of one of my includes, I think. So that's why it's messing up. And did I just spell that differently? No, I didn't. Yay. Okay. Control A, Control C. Bet you never saw that before. Okay, still nothing, but we're... I don't know if we're getting closer to something. Well, now we actually have, like, I think... Um, let's double check over here. I think we actually have, like, at least... No, we don't. I thought the little trademark was showing up or something. Um, but it's not. Okay, so what are we doing wrong here? Um, okay, blah, 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 blah. That should be fine. Leaflet. Uh, got it. BC Astro. Got it. BC Rosetta. Doesn't do anything, but we got it. BC Lib Staging. BC Lib. BC Lumera. Okay. Script and... Wait. Am I including BC Maps? I am not including BC Maps. That, that is a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and include it over here. This won't work. Okay, now we, we are getting the little, um, we're not getting anything useful, but we are getting a little question mark, which is the leaflet to saying that we're at least getting something. That was a contradiction in terms. Okay, so now let's see what it looks like on the big screen, so to speak. Okay. Okay, I, w I was expecting we would at least see the little copyright thingy, but some, let me cheat and use the uh, console here. Um, I don't want to use the debugger. Console, what, what am I doing wrong, console man? Nothing, apparently. Um, and this here is the, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's the replit thing. But we did create a map div here, apparently, because we do have the, the scroll bars, which I don't think we had before. Okay, so what are we doing wrong here? Well, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to use Mr. Console Log and see how far we get. Again, blah, 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 not is asynchronous, blah, 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 but it's synchronous enough that this shall work or not work. Okay, cool. So we never get to alpha over here. Um, and the problem might be that script JS does not terminate nicely. I mean, we're, we're printing out a lot of crap in script JS that we don't need. Once again, paranoid save. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and cut out all the garbage here. All of this stuff is just stuff that's supposed to be evaluated, and we don't really need it anymore. Um, 
And we've moved GMST to somewhere else, so that's fine. Um, the only thing we really need in here is... Well, this is commented on anyway, so it doesn't matter. The only thing we really need in here is... Um, we'll leave the to-do in here. Is the function, the interpret xy function. And I think we had one other function. I'm wrong, we did not. Um, and that's the only thing that Roy needs to define. And I think we can actually just do a reload here and we can get rid of this. And now it works. Doesn't work for no reason. All right, let's take a look here. All right, we got our script sources in here. Do we get an alpha? Oh, if we don't get an alpha, something's wrong. Nope, no alpha. I'm pretty sure in HTML it'll render even if it hasn't loaded those scripts. So the question is... Um, I think scripts are loaded synchronously. So the question is, does it even make it over here? And I really should have a semicolon there, so I will put one there. Okay, cool. So it gets over here. Um, there's function hoisting going on, so really I'm not convinced that this is uh, this is going to be useful. Okay. So it reaches the end of script JS. Index.html is always the thing that it runs. Div script. At some point, you should reach this, you piece of crap. Interesting. It's possible it doesn't like my style sheet. But I mean, that's... That's just... Weird. I'm going to comment it out, but if that's the problem, I'm going to be really confused. Okay, that isn't that if that is the problem, it's not the problem in the right way. Okay, so why, oh, you know what, all of our crap is in script.js, so maybe that's why putting a script here is not a great idea, except we've taken all the crap out of script.js. Um, and there's really nothing here anymore. But let's be obnoxious and put uh, function in, oh, is there two functions in chirp xy? That might be the problem. Let me see if we've got a function in chirp xy here, which is... Interp, nope, no results. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this uh, this interp xy since it's the only thing in here uh, to a staging library. I don't know if this is a a good idea or a bad idea because I don't know how general of a function this is. But hey, there it is. And then to do that, of course, we have to remove it from script JS or actually. At this point, there's really, oh wow, the to-do. There's really nothing in script SJ to, to JS to run. But now let's see what we get. Still nothing. At this point, we don't need to be including script JS. So go F yourself. Still nothing. All right, I'm now beginning to wonder if we need to define lunar and solar interpretation fairly early. They don't actually do much. So this this should not be an issue because we don't really use any of them. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck's going on here? All right, well, we're going to use the binary approach, which is we plunge ourselves into a binary star, which we can't because there's two of them. All right, we're going to basically delete. Let's see what happens if we delete leaflet. Does it run? No. That's kind of what I meant. Okay. So now what if we delete, um, you know, let's make leaflet first. What if we delete, uh, we should be doing a binary, but let's, um, what if we delete all of my scripts? Will it run now? No. Uh... Line, but 
what if we delete all of the scripts, period? Getting kind of ugly here. Div ID script. Oh, we don't even need to put a language in there, do we? No. Um, let's take a look. Let's do this. I was going to say let's look at the HTML, but I mean, that's... This is an HTML. I mean, the script tags. Um... Okay, getting uglier. What if we end the script here? Oh, that's... I hate my freaking life. So apparently if the entire script thing doesn't work, uh, it's not going to print out anything. Um, so so we, we know this. we get this far. So the thing we need to do now is just basically put in a bunch of anti-script tags. These are anti-script tags, by the way. Um, update view is not defined. That's true, actually. Um, but that has nothing to do with our problem. Let's go ahead and define up. Whoa, 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 whoa. There. That's the problem. Uh, map update view did not end in a... It, it, I didn't quite copy the, it, the... I'm an idiot. That's the problem. Okay. So now... Everything should look beautiful. Yeah, this should now look beautiful. Nope, still sucks. Still no eyes on the console. Um, function hoisting should already put this above where I'm trying to use it. Oh, also I have no end script tag now. My bad. Yay! And again, yay. Zero, zero, zero is really a horrible zoom level. Let's do like three. That's too high of a zoom level. You can never get it quite right, can you? Let's make it two. And this is, of course, just tweaking, but two, I think we should have four tiles displaying uh, in each direction, which actually might be too much. That looks more like the world I know and love. Hate. Um, okay, that took us some, that burned some time, and we are now at an hour, seven minutes. Oh, I'm so tempted to continue, but my hypoglycemia is starting to kick in. Um, and as much fun as it would be to die on stream, uh, that would be the last stream I could do. So, I really want to pick this up fairly soon. Let me go ahead and download this as a zip, because we're doing this okay. So I plan to pick this up fairly soon, which means either I'll be back on in a couple hours, or never. So thank you for watching the stream. Um, blah, blah, blah. If you have comments, questions, whatever the hell, there's stuff below this Twitch uh, video that you can look at and be happy. Or sad, I don't care. Okay, um... So yeah, I think we're going to call, call the stream now. The next thing we're going to do is actually use the solar data to create a nice little map that looks like this. And I will leave you with this image to see if YouTube maybe will use this as a, a thumbnail when I upload it to YouTube. Bye for now.